the first topic here we want to discuss is uh in fantasy land which uh you know we live in these days what do we want and one thing that we want is fox to put out more movies based on various other projects that aren't wolverine which apparently is finally gonna happen so you know get hyped mm. um so I, I guess i'll start uh i like the way they're going with some of their other franchises like i like that they're trying you know deadpool is gonna go off into his own universe that they're building up like cable and possible spinoffs from that new mutants that's awesome it's it sounds like it's gonna be a completely different style of movie so that sounds great this yeah, and then there's Dark Phoenix, which I really don't care about, so... No. Does anyone care about Dark Phoenix? It's just like, let's end the Brian Singer storyline uh, quickly. Well, there is those people that are like, that run the X-Men fan pages that have to like it, because that's, you know... <laughs> oh, we've met those guys. I haven't seen, like, much coverage of the, of it so far at all, if any, unless you're talking about the fan pages for the Phoenix. What is it? There's a little bit on there, like... I think the rumor is at the minute that they've just recast Rogue as a little girl. And so what? What? There was audition tapes girl. going just... around. Like, there's a couple of audition tapes going around at the weekend, and they, they Fox has pulled them down. So people are kind of like, oh, well, that girl's character's called Marie. It's clearly Rogue. So it's mm-hmm. the same thing that happened with the last two X Men movies. <laughs> Yeah, pretty so much. But like this, this girl was like But well, so okay, so Rogue, I guess. Um, does, but that's that character's not even Rogue though. Like they changed a bunch of her characters. Mm-hmm. So like, well, they can't really do Rogue. That, yeah, but to get the Rogue people, one you need Carol Danvers. Hmm. Unless you just X Men the animated series in and just have a have that power. I think set, that's but... probably the way they would do it, honestly. And it's like, well, other yeah. than the X Men movie, which I don't care about, the core X Men movie, what else is there that they could do? Because obviously we're talking about Fox. Does does anybody want any more X Men movies? Do we just want like X Force, Deadpool, um, X Caliber? I'm, I'm trying I don't know. to think. If... I'm trying to think if like a generation next would be a better movie or TV series. Mm. Uh, it'll probably be a better TV. It series, almost kind of sounds but... like the Generation X idea is kind of going to be what maybe is morphing out of that whole other live action TV series. So yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. It's... Um, to be honest, I'm so burnt out on X Men that I, I could easily, if, even if they cancelled Deadpool 2 at this point, if Fox just said we're going to just back away from superhero movies for a while, I'd be so fine with that. If they actually I'm just burnt out. movie, I agree, but they haven't done one yet. So. No, I'm just burnt out. They're not going to do one, though. They're just going to keep pumping out I, the same I don't stuff. know. A New Mutants looks yeah, different. Yeah, it does. Especially from the animatic, mm. So, And it's Josh... It's, is it Josh Boone? I keep forgetting his name. I just remember how like original... Like all the early stuff that was released for like X Men Origins looked. Like yeah, there were that, bits that people they were releasing and stuff, and it was like, okay, this might actually be the best X Men movie. And it's... But that had a big budget, so they could go in there. Yeah, like New Mutants doesn't. I don't know. I've just been hurt so many times now by Fox with the X Men franchise. Logan and Deadpool don't make up for so many bad films lately. Well, it's it's a weird thing because I love Legion, and. I want more of that, which... That's television, though. It's not technically, like... It's a different... It's still still under Fox, Fox, so... It's still the same thing. Fox television and Fox movie, though. Oh, yeah, well, one is... So so is Marvel, but, you know, it's still the same thing. But I'd rather, like... Hopefully this other TV series ends up taking off, because... I don't know, it sounds interesting. Like, I like the idea of... These mutants that are trying to hide underground, or some sort of do developing sentinels sentinels are going to play some sort of aspect in the series like it sounds more x-men than what we're getting in the actual movies and when i look at the movies i'm like well i don't really want the dark phoenix unless they're going to go to space but then this is fox going to space which means they're going to be so conservative about it it's going to be so yeah safe played and it's going to be like oh you know like how funny would it be, though, if, uh, to save money, they just reuse the CGI Sentinels from uh, Days of Future Past? Oh, they probably will. <laughs> just put them on. Yeah, and they look like a Dyson like vacuum cleaner. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> to be fair, like where it is like a 
co-production with Marvel Studios, they probably won't. Yeah. Like, it might just tweak them slightly to look actually like Sentinels. Well, just take away, like, the see-through plating and just make it metal, and then you've basically got closer to an actual Sentinel anyway. Wait, my... Yeah, give it a face. Wait, wait. My biggest <laughs> yeah. fear is that they come out with this stupid um, X-Men Dark Phoenix movie, and they're like, well, we're going cosmic, but what does that mean? Well, the Phoenix is just going to hang out around the moon, and we got to retrofit the X-Jet and then go fight it in space. It's like, that's so stupid. Like, They're going cosmic because they keep hearing that the other studios have just gone yeah. cosmic. Yeah. yeah, it's a total reaction. And they don't quite even know what it means yet. They just think it means all the space is involved in some way. Mm -hmm. Like, if they were smart, we'd be getting, like, the Shi'ar and the Shi'ar gods, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's just like... It just, it doesn't seem like they're going to take that big of a risk either because it's the third part of a trilogy. So they have yeah. no reason to take that big leap. And it's also set in the 90s, so you're kind of now hindered again. So uh, it's just, everything I hear about it. I wonder if they're going to just start sticking in the 90s though. Because hmm. that is the era that everyone loved of X-Men. So it's kind of like if we just stick in this one decade and make it around it. No. Uh, I'd be fine with that. I mean, if it's the 90s, the one thing I want, if they're going to still keep them all younger, bring in another Gambit, just a new, like, teenage Gambit. But, in, like, instead of playing cards at the time, maybe he has pods. <laughs> and he's just throwing he's pods, pods and slammers. That's fucking great for the 90s. And then later he takes out, he gets a gambling addiction or something and takes up cards. Well, Gambit would have to be a kid as well if Rogue is going to be a child. Yeah, but yeah. Gambit's still <laughs> going to be... You can't, you can't have but Channing touch. Tatum... <laughs> he keeps calling us. <laughs> Channing Tatum in a $150 million fucking movie made in Louisiana for some fucking reason. Wh why? What were they thinking? That, would, that movie would never happen. I don't care what people say. It's never you think that's... Happen. Well, I mean, they did announce it in their slate and... It's probably done. If we don't hear anything about it this year, it's a dead movie, I feel. You know, it's... Well, I think there might be rumblings, but it's kind of like, no. It's not yeah. now. <laughs> I feel so old for a second, because as soon as you said that, I was tr I was just thinking, oh, think of like a young Hollywood actress that could play the younger rogue, and it would be really creepy with Channing Tatum, and first name that popped in my head was uh, Dakota Fanning. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what, 20-something now? I, I couldn't name one young actress i can't i can't even name the actress who played uh x20 x22 daphne king that's it i won't remember that <laughs> well they also got to deal with how would they how do they handle that character going forward because people love her enough and it seems like they're gonna ignore wolverine for a while so i'd want a daphne king solo same movie to be honest yeah right. but do you it's just a case of do you take her back or do you carry on going forward? You don't really. I don't want a sequel to Logan though. I don't want anything Same. else. They need well, to it, somehow it, just put her in. It wouldn't be a sequel to, to Logan. The actress. Like it would be her own thing. Like, it, yes, it would be a sequel, but it's kind of no. But then we've got another New Mutants movie because, like, well, not really the New Mutants, but Charles called them that, and it's her and walking with the kids, like trying to find the new like sanctuary or whatever. That's why you, you, you ignore those kids. You just like, <laughs> just wipe them. You just say oh, that you died. So you never saw uh, Someone came along and uh, shot them. The, the best way yeah. they could really handle that situation, I feel, is just cable. Just yeah, yeah just it's, let it's, cable grab her from continuity yeah. and bring her into just something. Just have Deadpool else. literally be like, dude, no, I, Wolverine is stuck in so many different timelines. So what do we do with cables? Like, I got a solution. Ha ha. You know, it's like, oh, what? <laughs> I grabbed the wrong yeah. one. <laughs> like that would only work in the X Force movie. Like, but then the next movie with her would have to acknowledge that, and that would that would be a big restriction on the story. You can tell because suddenly it's it's based on this goofy premise. Hmm. I don't know. I I think Fox have kind of fucked themselves over by casting an actress that was too good for the role. That now you've got to have her, or people aren't interested. Hmm. Um, it's. Honestly, it's Fox. I don't think they're going to care. I think they're just going to move forward. I mean, they had the same character, Caliban, by two different actors in less than a year. So I, I just don't think they care. Like, yeah. like, they could quite, like, just do a Caliban. Like, just go, well, you know, this was in this timeline. Yeah. This is Daphne Keene in this yeah. timeline. 
As long as they keep the actress, it's fine. <laughs> and I think... We don't care about the timeline, just stick That could be anywhere. a cool, yeah. good entry point to, like, that franchise, too. It's like they have all sorts of ages. They got Ryan Reynolds, who is in his, you know, mids. They got Cable, who's old as hell. And then they have, you know, X-23, and she's, like, young and doesn't understand what the hell these old bastards are talking about. I think that could honestly make for a good <laughs> team dynamic, so... Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Man... They should just, like, reveal that Deadpool's universe just exists within the comic book in Logan. Yes. Like, just have Cable just, like, reach out from the comic book page and pull her through. That's very Gwenpool. Mm. <laughs> very Gwenpool. Yeah, that is. Mm. Don't even like Gwenpool. Get out of here. I haven't read Gwenpool. <laughs> Apparently, Gwenpool's really good, but I, I don't... I don't, I'm just, I don't read Deadpool, and I'm not that huge a Gwen Stacy fan, so there's just nothing it's not to Gwen really... Stacey, so, uh, It's not Gwen Stacy, so it's just Gwen. Yep. It's, oh. uh, no, it's, it's Gwen Paul. P-O-O-L-E. Uh, uh, less reasons. <laughs> like, the only I Gwen just assumed Stacey? it was Gwen Stacy. Mm. Hey, spider Gwen's a Stacy, isn't she? Yeah. yeah I, just, I just figured they were making different versions of Gwen Stacy I mean, at one point. Like, they just went nuts with I mean, all the Gwen Stacy's. I think, was it in one point, in one of the comics, Miles says Spider-Man's and Gwen Stacy's don't mix, and that's when she said, not all Stacy's. Mm-hmm.